Hey, what is up guys? So I got something super, super crazy to share with you guys today. And you're going to be able to pull off any win condition, FTK, OTK, the craziest stuff. You can pull off the gimmick puppet, you can pull off destiny board, you can pull off wave motion cannon. You can basically lock down your opponent to where they can't even play Yu-Gi-Oh at all. And uh, you'll get, you guys will see, you know, obviously how to make the field through the uh, pendulum mechanic. It's crazy what you can do in this game with the mechanics of pendulums just because you're able to just get out free cards and you're also able to uh really abuse library i feel like libraries it should be it should have been banned like we'll talk more about that later i think they can make a video just on its own because like pretty much every everything that library's in is always something really really dumb right so i feel like it should be banned but nonetheless uh, no one really likes dealing with library, but this is kind of cool just because someone's actually pulling off Destiny Board, and like I said, you could literally pull off any win condition in this entire game because your opponent can't, you can't play anything. He does anything, he instantly loses. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, there's actually another, there's a card called Chain Energy that also basically uh, does the same thing. So you can actually pull this combo off even easier. So let me go ahead uh, and actually try to break it down for you guys because, um, let me explain why you can do whatever you want. Your opponent can't do anything. If they do anything, they instantly lose. So what you uh, are going to be doing uh, in this specific build, because you're running Destiny Board, you can't run uh, Chain Energy, but you could also do it with Chain Energy instead of Odd Eyes, uh, the Gravity Dragon. But what you need it to do is make Chronomaly, uh, well, it's the Chaos uh, 6 Chronomaly Chaos Atlantis. So it requires three level seven monsters, but you use a rank up card, I believe. So if you uh, activate any of this card's effects, your opponent takes no damage for the rest of the turn. Once per turn, you target one monster your opponent controls, equip this card, uh, equip it to this card. It gains a thousand attack for each monster equipped to it by this effect. If this card has number six Chromely Atlantis uh, as material, it gains this effect. You can detach three materials from this card and then send all number of cards, minimum one, equipped to this card by its own effect to the graveyard, your opponent's life points become 100 so that puts him at a spot where he's only got 100 life so he can't really do anything simply because of uh odd eyes gravity dragon so odd eyes gravity dragon has the fact that um you can ritual summon this card with odd eyes advent when this card is special summoned you can return all spell and trap cards your opponent controls to the hand so basically you're safe on that uh, unless of course they're trying to negate that but of course they're gonna have to be paying life points to activate it because uh well, I know it says your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to this, but you could obviously activate something else so you can be chained to that other effect. But uh, you can only use each effect of it once per turn. But your opponent must pay 500 life points to activate cards or effects. So if your opponent wants to do anything in the game, they must pay 500 life points. So that basically means your opponent can't do anything because if they do anything other than set or uh, summon, uh, they can't... Uh, well, they can't even really do anything. Like... At this point, you've won the game. You could do any win condition, and you don't actually have to spell Destiny Board out correct. I remember before, people were like, no, you have to spell it out. You actually have to spell it final, because if you spell it wrong, it doesn't count. But uh, he's going to go ahead and actually pull up that win condition uh, through final, like the Destiny Board. If you guys didn't know, this in the OCU is actually something that spells out death, which I think is... Uh, it's much more cool, because, uh, like, you know, you kill your opponent. But, you know, we, we can't be about that life in this Yu-Gi-Oh! world. We have to be about, like, the fainting Pokemon. You faint them. But, uh, anyways, yeah, I thought that was really cool just because it shows you guys how... Well, I'm sure all of you guys know how broken Library is in this game. But, mostly it's just to show you guys that, like, you can pull off anything. Like, if you really want to pull off some of your fan-favorite uh, win conditions. Maybe, like, a Gimmick Puppet instant win condition. Venomonaga, you have to attack, so it doesn't really matter at this point. You've probably won the game. Well, I mean, you've won the game anyways. Your opponent can't even do anything. I don't know if there's an out to this. Let me know, guys, in the comment section below if there is an out to this, because even if they were to activate, you know, something that negates an effect, they have to pay, and I'm pretty sure that that would be a cost. You have to pay to even attempt to activate, and at that point, you've lost the game. How do you beat this, guys? Like, other than obviously having Exodia. Um, Exodia actually does not, um, like... You can't chain to Exodia, apparently, so... I don't know, I'm pretty sure I Exodia wouldn't make it so he had to pay 500 life points, but I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to find out. Uh, let me know, guys, in the comments section below. Does Ex if, if your opponent had the setup, right, where you're at 100 life points and you have Audi's Gravity, I know Exodia is an effect, but I don't think that you'd have to pay 500 to activate it, because it's just it's a win condition. You've automatically won the game. But let me know in the comments section below what other crazy 
uh, win conditions that you guys have tried. Because I've tried to pull off Destiny Board. It's literally impossible. But uh, this guy pulled it off. Plus, like I said, you can pull off any win condition that you want. That it's like super, super impossible to pull off. Because your opponent literally can't Yu-Gi-Oh. So you have full reign. And obviously there's more cards that you can put in the deck. Because uh, Final is probably a very poor choice. You can Final Countdown. Like I said, <laughs> Final Countdown would be very annoying with this. Uh, very crazy stuff. But thanks, Mr. Ryui, for sending in the replay. I love this, man. It's it's a really cool idea because literally it's just like, no, you can't do anything, man. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. It's been your boy Will Smith, signing out.